What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Uh, it's time for me to automate the watering of my garden. Uh, it's one of the biggest challenges uh, living here in Texas. Um, if I go on vacation or go out of town um, on business or something like that, um, and there's no one to water my garden. My wife uh, doesn't like to do it and it's hard to find people to uh, come over and do that kind of stuff. Um, anyway, and I don't like asking people to do that for me anyway. So I, I want to automate my system. Now, as you've, if you've watched my videos over the last couple of years, you know that I have a water catchment system, rain catchment system, that uh, catches the rainwater off of my roof and collects it in a big um, tote, a big 255 gallon, I think that's what it is. Anyway, very large water container. And um, so I want to hook this system up. This is a system I purchased from Lowe's. Um, I was going to put together my own system with, with, you know, customized system with components or whatever. I'm just so busy right now that I, I didn't have time to do it. So I saw this at Lowe's, decided to pick it up and try it out. Now in the future, I do want to do something more sophisticated with microcontrollers and, and uh, you know, um, soil wetness sensors. Uh, so humidity sensor, whatever they're called, I don't, I don't know what they're called, but I've seen those those type of systems, and that's exactly what I want. I want something that's automated and, and intelligent and smart that conserves water, but but uh, gives the plants exactly what they need. Anyway, this will be a half step toward that. Uh, what this is, this is a, a hybrid system. It will do, you know, landscaping and gardens. Um, so it's a little bit of a higher pressure system. It'll have um, certain nozzles that will um, you know, spray out um, kind of like a gar like a lawn sprinkler, and then it also has drip um, irrigation for uh, for your vegetables in your garden. This kind type of system can connect to any um, any faucet, as you see, external faucet um, that you know you would hook any kind of garden hose to. So this isn't just limited to to um, kind of the the prepper um, water catchment kind of use. Uh, you can use this on any kind of system, but I want to do something that uh, is not tied to that. So that's why I'm doing it. Anyway, I will, uh, th and also one more word before I stop rambling here. Um, I'm not intending to do this as a step-by-step -step video. I'm going to take some, some short clips uh, as I go uh, at various points and kind of give you a recap, but as far as every single step you need to do to install it, first of all, your system's gonna be different than mine, and second of all, I just don't have the time to do that. That takes many, many, many hours to do, and I've, I've got limited time right now in life. So, without further ado, I will get started, and we will show you as we go what's going on. Okay, for those of you who haven't seen this before, this is my IBC tote. Um, it is a large plastic container um, housed in a metal cage that uh, collects, that, that receives water that's collected off of the roof of my shed here. And it gets full really fast, like th it's, it's a great system. And so I'd like to start using more of this water. This is obviously for emergencies, for if my, you know, if the grid were to go down, I would have drinking water and, and cooking water and stuff like that. But in the meantime, I'd like to at least use some of it for something more constructive. So the, we're going to be connecting this to the faucet that's installed at the bottom there. And hopefully the pressure is enough, um, gravity pulling down on that much water, hopefully the pressure is enough to power this system. Um, it needs 50 PSI, so I, don't, I really don't know if it's gonna be able to get 50 PSI. The 50 PSI is only for the sprayers though. So um, the other option is just to do the drip, which only requires 25 uh, PSI. So I, I purchased the 25 PSI valve uh, for this system in case um, it can't handle 50 PSI. So the, it will uh, go from the faucet there along my fence line and over to my garden. And so there will be uh, drip um, for the smaller, you know, 
ground hugging vegetable type deals and then um, for like the tomatoes and okra and things that uh, go up higher uh, we'll try to use some some sprayers if we can if not we'll use the the drippers on those too so that's the uh, the project before we get started and let's get to work <laughs> okay so this is the first part that goes from the host the faucet uh, to a timer uh, and I this isn't an automatic timer I thought it was but uh, turns out it's you have to manually uh, set the time each time so I have to think of something that will automate this for when I go on vacation but we'll deal with that later anyway there's a backflow valve right here and then there is a this this is the 50 psi um, regulator like I was talking about we'll try the 50 first and see what happens and then this is a, a kind of a an adapter that goes from the three-quarter inch that the faucet uses down to this half inch uh, hose uh, fitting right here so there will be half inch hose that goes from here all the way over to the garden okay so now we've started to attach some of the tubing um, this is a half inch tubing and it connects with these uh, adapters like I showed before and then you just kind of lay it out where you want it to go and there's these little support pieces there's stakes that you just drive into the ground and uh, that'll hold it in place so we're gonna go all the way down the fence line and then we're to our first little bed here I want to cut it off and I already have uh, cut it off right here on the edge so that I can use this coupler piece and send it 90 degrees this way and up and into where the, the tomatoes will be. So I'll show you how this is done. Um, hopefully I can do this one handed, but there's a, a barbed fitting in there and you basically just push it in as hard as you can. I won't be able to, let me see if I can put the camera down. Uh, okay there we go so you push it on as far as it'll go and then you just tighten it with this piece on the end here okay and that should be tight so then we're going to stake it down and again, you use these these little stakes. And they just drive into the ground, and then they hold hold it in place. Sorry, I can't do this while I'm talking. But anyway, there you go. So now I've got a 90 degree that I can come this way and into the tomato bed, and then we will uh, try to do some of the sprayers in here and see what happens. Okay, so I've got to run here to the end of this bed. And uh, when you come to the end here, you want to use this little piece right here and crimp off the end. So that'll uh, terminate that line. And then uh, you can, when you get to the point where you want to put in one of your, your drippers or sprinkler heads, um, you use this little tool that's included and it will basically push down on the pipe and puncture a hole and then the little nozzle just fits in snugly inside there so this one's a 360 degree spray is probably not the best use for tomato but that's what I got in the kit so that's what I'm gonna start with but I'm just gonna set this up as a test to see if my tote over there can produce enough pressure for this thing to even do anything so I've just got the one hooked up I'm not going to hook these others up yet just until we get done with this test and so I've got this other end I just cut off a little piece so that I could terminate use this other piece and terminate it for this test so I'll go ahead and do that and we'll turn it on and see what happens okay we've got everything terminated for our test so I'm going to go ahead and first turn on the faucet here 
open her up and then go ahead and I'm just going to put on for 15 minutes I guess so I hear stuff happening let's go see over here if there's anything going to come out Okay, so we may not be making 50 PSI because it's not making it past this this point. Okay, so there it's working. Um, but we had a major fail because uh, this could not produce anywhere near the amount of pressure. I had to cheat and use the garden hose hooked up to the house. But everything else is working. I just did that to make sure that I didn't have any blockages or leaks or I didn't do something wrong, but I did everything right. This thing just cannot produce the pressure. So that's it for this video. Um, I like to show my fails as much as I do my successes. So hopefully you guys can learn from stuff like this. I'm gonna go back to the drawing board. I need a couple other pieces anyway to finish my whole uh, garden. But um, I'm gonna try to find some sort of an inline pump that I can power with my solar panels. Um, that will up the pressure and allow this system to work. So stay tuned for next time and thanks for watching.